hi everyone in this video we are going to discuss about uh, the difference between root port and the designated port so root port and designated port are the roles assigned to switch ports so for that we can see we have switch 1 here we have switch 2 switch 2 and switch 3 we have these three switches on all, all these switches we will have a we will have physical ports or the interfaces so those ports or interfaces will be assigned some roles and those roles are root ports and designated ports and those roles are basically part of a protocol that is spanning tree protocol and if you don't have spanning tree protocol on these switches then a loop will be created like a packet will be forwarded to to maybe from this switch to this switch and from this switch to this switch and this switch to this switch and this will they will be creating a loop and now to avoid this loop uh, to create a loop free topology we have this protocol that is called a spanning tree protocol okay so now uh, the second like more important thing is that out of these switches when we use a spanning tree protocol which actually uses a spanning tree algor uh, algorithm so using certain rules they select one of the switches as a root switch or the old name is bridge so they select uh, a root bridge or they elect a root bridge now once we have this root bridge elected out of these three switches we are going to see what actually is the root port so the root port is the port on a non root switch the switch or the bridge which is non root so root port will be there on the non root bridge having the lowest root path cost to the root bridge so it means very first thing is that root port will be uh, there on the non root bridge so this is the bri uh, bridge or the switch which has already been selected as root and these are two non root switches or non root bridges this one and this one it means now on these two switches we will have root ports and uh, for that what is the uh, root path cost so the root path cost is a numerical value which we calculate uh, on the basis of port cost so like here we have these ports every port will have a cost associated with that uh, and that cost actually represents the cost of sending data over the link let's say if you want to send some data from this port to this switch so there will be a cost associated with that that will be known as port cost and we have different standard to define those costs and for example if you are going to say the cost to reach from this port to the root bridge is let's say one and the cost to reach from this port to this root bridge is one okay and then maybe cost from the here to here is one so now we have to select a port on these switches which has uh, the least root path cost so for example from here from this switch to this root bridge we will have a cost one but if we say if we want to go from this path then it will have greater distance or greater cost so we will not be selecting that but we will be selecting this part which is near to root, root bridge so that particular port will be root port so for example this port will be the root port and exactly in the same way this port on this switch will be the root port in this way we select or we elect root bridge on the basis of this criteria and now we have designated port and for the selection or the election of this designated port what we do here so the designated port is the port on a network segment or the local area network or link so for example here we have two switches here and between these two switches we have a segment or link that we call as a LAN segment and on this LAN segment on every mm, uh, LAN segment we will have one port which will act as a designated port and it will have the best path best path means again it will have the uh, the lowest root path cost uh, to reach the root bridge so for that with this definition uh, and uh, we will be selecting one designated port and for this and uh, and one more thing one more thing important thing is that on every root bridge or and on every root switch we will not have any root port well but every port will be actually the designated port so on this root bridge 
every port will be the designated port so let's say this port will also be designated port in the same way this port which is on the root bridge it will be also designated port and uh, uh, second thing, thing is that on, on every LAN segment we will have one designated port so see here from this switch to this switch we have one designated port this is there and from this switch to this switch we have one LAN segment so on that LAN segment we have, we have selected one uh, designated port but from this switch to this switch we have one LAN segment but we haven't selected any designated port so for that selection we will follow this definition that the port having the uh, lowest root path cost or having the best path to, to uh, reach root bridge will be selected as uh, the designated port so now here you can see both of the switches they have the equal distance to reach uh, the root bridge so they have the equal distance this is i we cannot select the, this this port or this port as a designated port so for that we have a second criteria that is known as bridge id so they will have bridge id and this bridge id they will be announcing some bpdu they will have bridge id this will be detailed i have discussed this thing in some other video but every switch will have a bridge id and now if there is a tie then we will be selecting the switch having lower bridge id as as a as a as a switch having designated port so on that uh, switch we will be selecting the designated port so let's say on this switch and yes in bridge id we will have some uh, priority value extended system id and mac address this will be a number assigned to these these switches and let's say that number or that bridge id this switch has that number and that number is lower than the number assigned to this so in this case this switch will be selected um, for having a designated port so on this switch 2 and switch 3 we will be selecting this port as a designated port so in this way we select this root port and designated port so remember on root bridge or root switch we will have the port and these all ports will be the designated port and on every leg segment length segment we will have at least one port uh, which will work as a designated port and every non root switch will have a uh, one root port and yes I have discussed these uh, things as characteristics of root port and designated port on this slide so for the root port characteristics are these follows that uh, so first characteristics is that each non root switch has only one root port on designated port every network segment or every LAN segment will have one designated port and uh, and this root port has the best path to read the bridge and for the designated port it has the best path on that particular segment to reach the root bridge for example on this segment how they reach this root bridge on this segment how they reach the root uh, bridge so designated port will be the port having the best path on that particular segment to root bridge and third characteristic is that the root port is always in the forwarding state to allow traffic toward the root bridge that's important and here's it root port is always in the forwarding state and it allows traffic towards the root bridge and here this is it is always in the forwarding state um, both of them should be forwarding state and on the next slide we have the traffic directions specifically here it says that traffic flows towards the root bridge through the root port say traffic flows towards the root bridge through root port and regarding uh, when we take uh, this designated ports so here in designated port traffic flows away from the root bridge uh, through the designated port to other switches or devices on the segment so that is the difference between root port and designated port and that's it I tried to briefly explain the difference between root port and the designated port the details about spanning tree protocol and all the selection process of this uh, root bridges and root port and uh, designated port is, um, is 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 discussed in some other video i'll put the link of that video in the description section and uh, thank you thank you very much for your time hope to see you in some other video thanks